is first of all, we're going to go to the capacity planning report that we have here. All we can see is that we have different categories. We have CPU, memory, interface, traffic, and VPN. This is important because we can forecast capacity, not only for the main four metrics, CPU, memory, traffic, and this, but also by, for any other metric that we have in, in sub one. As you can see here, what we're doing is we have selected the group. We can select a specific group of groups or a specific device or devices. And this will allow us to define the scope of this report. In this case, we only have the P1 devices in this case, but we can change it to any other of the existing groups that we have in, in step one. Let me close this. As you can see all the groups. And then what we have here is the similar view for all the tabs where we can see the trend. This is the devices, this is the object, this is the indicator. This is the average for the last 24 hours. And you can see the forecast for the next seven days. You can select next seven days, next month, next three months. So there are different options to forecast the capacity. Also, we have color coding to make it easy to understand if this is a problem or not, or it's gonna be a potential problem. Then some people, instead of seeing this, prefer to read it in a different way. I want to see how many days, how much time until I reach capacity or until I reach 90% or every other threshold. That's something that we can do here as well. In this case, you can see we have a different set of devices because based on this information is going to be different. And we can see the objects, we can see the metric, we can see the average for the last 24 hours. And based on the current trend, when we're going to reach, in this case, 100% capacity. Again, we can change this to a different number. It could be 95, it could be 90, it could be different numbers. And these are the days. And again, we use color coding to make sure that, look, if we have more than a year or more than 400 days, in this case, it's not a problem. If we have less than 100 days, this is something that we have to tackle right now. Otherwise, we have almost three months to fix the issue. Also, we have a different way to display the data here. You can see this is the historical data for the last seven days. And then we can see here the trend. This is how it's gonna go up. We can do something similar for memory. Let's go to the memory utilization. As you can see, we're gonna have similar dashboard. We're gonna have the trend, we're gonna have the days to capacity, and we're gonna have the predictions for the next seven days. And in this case, you can see that yeah, some of them in seven days is gonna grow a little bit, but in terms of reaching capacity, we only have this one that it has 300 days more or less to reach capacity, the rest is more than a thousand, it's not a problem. Bear in mind that we can change the scope. Now I'm in P1, but what I can do is, for example, select I don't know, New York and London and actually remove the P1. And this will allow us to change the scope to, in this case, these two groups, all the devices in New York and in London. You don't need to create different reports for different sections, just change the filter, and this will allow you to show distinctness. Let's go to traffic. Let's go to traffic. Again, what we're gonna do is change the group. Now let's go to Chicago example. The view you can see in this case is exactly the same as before. We have the capacity for the next seven days. We have the days to capacity as well. We have the trend. And as mentioned before, we can define which device or which group of the devices we want to display on this report. And you can see here the current status. What else can we do? Well, we can go to disk, for example. And now instead of selecting a group, for example, in this case, there is no devices, what we're gonna do is select a list of devices. For example, I'm gonna select the load balancers. I think I have load balancers. So I'm gonna select these two. And as you can see, we can also not only select 
the field, the, the scope of the report based on device groups. We can also do it based on, on, on specific devices. In this case, we haven't chosen color coding. That's absolutely fine. You can choose whether to show color coding or not. We can see that the problem, everything is very simple. So everything is fine. So it doesn't look that we have any problem. There is no growth in terms of disk. Let me remove this filters and let's go to the next stage that is the VPN. So we mentioned before, you can create trends with any single metric. It doesn't have to be CPU, memory, interface, or disk. For example, this is the number of VPN connections. When we did the, the, the shift to uh, work from home, this impacted a lot. So it was very important to know the trend until when I'm gonna grow, how much capacity I have until I reach my 100% capacity. That's why it's important to have this capability to create focus capacity for every single net. And that's what we're doing here. In this case, looks pretty normal. We have more than enough capacity to reach 100% uh, capacity. So there is no problem. You can see the trend is quite steady. We don't have problems. But what is important here is that we can monitor, we can focus and trend any single metric that we are monitoring. Can be a custom metric, can be from SNMP, can be from any other methods that we have to monitor data inside. 